from a garage in Van Nuys, it's the Tucker Maloney Show. Tonight. Tonight? From What the Fark, hosts Mike Rylander and a bunch of kids. It's, did I say fark? I said fark. <laughs> So uh, things have changed since the last time we did a show. Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome. Uh, we have a new addition to the family here. Ow. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Mabel Maloney. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Once again, central casting really comes up with a beauty. Uh, welcome to the show. I'm Tucker. This is Johnny. This is Fiona. Who are you? You're Joseph? Oh, okay. All right. Once you have more than one, it's kind of hard to keep track of how many are running around. Uh, you have any kids? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, all right. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's fun. Uh, it's fun having kids. I have two daughters now. That, uh, are you done? Are you yeah, I, yeah, I think so. The way yeah, things have done. been going. Yeah, yeah, okay. There you go. I mean, yes. Can... All right. <laughs> Random person from the audience. I don't know who that could have been. Uh, I guess we're. I guess we're done. Um, how are you doing? Good. Good. Do you like your sister? Yeah. Yeah. Who's that over there? Bell. My mommy. Your mom. Oh. And my and my indigo bell. And your okay. I'm not sure what that was, but you know, <laughs> kids. Um. So tonight on the show, I got a friend of mine, uh, Mike Rylander, who is from Aura TV, which is Larry. <laughs> Larry King's webpage, people. Very cool. How about that? You like Larry King? That's big time. It is big time. It's, oh. it's big time. Mike Rylander is the host of the show What the Fark, which can be found at whatthefark.com? Yes. All right, yes, <laughs> whatthefark.com. Uh, also at aura.tv slash WTFark. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show Mike Rylander. <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? All right. All right. Do you mind if I sit there? Is that okay? Ah. Whoa. Whoa. That'll happen. All right. Gotta watch out for that light. Yeah, Woo. tall guys with children. Yeah. <laughs> well, who uh, who you got here? Well, I heard it was BYOB. It so. was. It was. <laughs> I brought my own baby. Who is this now? Uh, hey, what's your name? <laughs> Her name is, uh, this is Parson Daisy. Parson Daisy. Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> Parson, can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Mm. Well, here it is, huh? This yeah. is uh, this is the this world is, now. This is what it's all about, I guess. Yeah. You uh, tell me about what the fuck. Uh, well, it's um, a uh, a weird news comedy show. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, we say you know, like kind of what John Stewart and The Daily Show does with Fox News, right? And Joel McHale does with uh, reality television. We do the same thing for weird news stories. So like the guy who's high on meth having relations with an alligator in Florida, <laughs> that's kind of our thing. Okay, yeah. so specifically weird. You're not really, uh, you're not touching, you know, congressional votes. Or no, I, I mean, every once in a while if like a... Uh, uh, well, yeah. We yeah. lost a kid. That's all right. It, keep they going. come and go, yeah, you, you know. know? <laughs> you can, it's tough to keep track of them. Um, yeah, so every once in a while maybe we'll touch uh, things that are a little political, but only if it's political weird. Like when uh, Jim Zin uh, James Inhoff brought the snowball into the, uh, Congress. We did oh, an yeah. episode on that. Because <laughs> he brought a snowball. Because apparently because there's snow in Washington, D.C., that means climate change isn't real. Well, I can follow that logic. Hey, what do you guys say we all share the dinosaur, huh? Take turns with <laughs> the dinosaur? Now, what's a slam dunk? What do you, what do you know is going to be a big hit when you're well, doing your show? The one we actually did on a Friday was like, I, in my opinion, what, when I, as soon as I saw this story existed, I was like, well, this is why our show exists. Right. Um, there's a new drug sweeping the state of Florida called Flocka. Oh. Yeah. It's that's a, knocked Crocodile right out of the, uh, a, right out of the top spot. Dinosaur. It's a derivative of bath salts, actually. And there was a man who um, was high on Flocka uh -huh. and was found naked calling himself God, having relations with a tree. Um, so right. the cops came and uh, tased well. him, right, as they would, uh, tased him twice. Um, but he has such superhuman strength from the flock that he's able to rip out... Or just his, passion for right, the tree. Rip out the, these probes right. from his body, attack the cops, 
took off his badge and then used his, the cop's badge as a weapon to attack the cops. No, um, okay. So that's just, you know, a typical day in Florida. And that's typical. a pretty <laughs> slick move, though, to be able to Dinosaur. get into the badge, un unattach it, and still use a weapon. I mean, this guy sounds like a pretty talented guy. You know, like, is it the man or is, <laughs> it, the, is it the Flocka? That's Maybe, true. Yeah. It's kind of an advertisement for Flocka. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, the highlighter cap is off. All right, now we're, now we're going to have some fun. All right, hang on. Um, now, you have had uh, Parson on your show before, right? You've had her, you've had her appear. Yeah, yeah, she appeared early on. Um, <laughs> early, uh, right after I kind of got the job and right after she was um, kind of born, I had her on. What's, what do you want? Where'd you find a lighter? That's probably not a good thing to have. <laughs> um, oh, man. Never mind. Uh, this isn't always a kid garage. Uh, well, okay, so obviously I've had my kids on, on my show. Right. Do you think we're screwing them up by doing this? Um, Do you think like they're gonna like they're gonna be addicted to cameras, or they're gonna be totally comfortable with it, and we're just like reforming like the most natural people in front of cameras? You know, or are they gonna reject this in time? I'm actually gonna go one step up and say that I think like society in general is just kind of dooming our children because yeah. whether they're on an actual show, like technically we're all broadcasters now, because even if you don't have your own show. Everyone's posting photos and videos with their kids right. to Facebook, to Instagram, to Twitter, to YouTube. Yep. And this generation, this is really a petri dish of uh, exploration. Like, we're going to find out what happens when your entire life is broadcast before the world. And we really Won't don't know the results. Of that. It's just one big yeah. human experiment. So, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I would say, as a whole, society is really just. Um, what's that? I feel like we're on the Truman Show. Uh, they're, yeah. they're on the Truman Show. Well, I'm not what is the sure dinosaur what that means. Uh, All right, well, we're going to, let's take a look at uh, your show. Uh, pick any clip you want. What do you think we're going to look at here? Oh, uh, oh you. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> yes. We're, we're going to watch a clip of my show. Let's take a, let's take a quick peek at uh, What the Fark. Uh, let's, let's take a look at uh, a, little pic, a little clip from our Flocka, oh, our Flocka episode. Oh, Yes, let's see the Flocka. Yeah, let's take a little, all right. let's take a little look at Flocka. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Mike Rylander and this is What The Fark. Today we head to Melbourne, Florida, where local news six in Orlando is snorting lines of the powerful drug known as overblown media hype. But right now a drug believed to be sweeping the state is now potentially in our local neighborhoods. The bath salt known as Flocka. That strong synthetic drug known as Flocka. On a new form of bath salts known as Flocka, similar to bath salts or Flocka. Jesus, okay, we get it. Flocka exists, it's similar to bath salts, no problem. Look, can I just hear the rest of the story from the late 1990s frat bro dressed for his first job interview? Lisa, they said it was unlike anything they've ever seen before. Great. He's f***ing high on media hype, too. Well, that's a little flavor of Flocka right there. Yeah. And what the fur? Well, how about that? <laughs> you like how we uh, got Fozzie involved? Flocka, uh, Flocka. Not so much. No, not really. I didn't really care for that. Um, you want to get down? Well, the show is What the Fark. Where can people find it? Where can they see it uh, on the interwebs? Yeah, you can go to WTFark.com. Check okay. it out there. Um, and you can also see all of our episodes uh, syndicated on uh, the Huffington Post. Excellent. In the Weird News tab. You know, I think I told you this once upon what a time, want? but if there's any parental advice I can tell anybody out there, switch arms when holding a baby. Binky? There, there's nothing more important than that. And you also, always muscle. carry a binky in your, in your breast pocket. Yes, and a flask. Um, thanks for watching, it? everybody. Johnny, oh. Uh, well, Johnny's not going to play us out. We're just going to go out to the beautiful sounds of the room. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, man. thanks for watching. Uh, it's time for drinks with Tom Sullivan. I'll tell you that much. Uh, What's the matter? Mike Rylander, what the fuck? Check it out. Right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Ooh. Oh, it's hot. <laughs>